Wow, like there a are piece of that of the chimney, or some some of the chimneys in the neighborhood, the sulfur That's chimneys. Cool. So, what makes these these chimneys? Uh, it's a, you know these fluids are full of sulfur, so as the hot water comes out into the cold ocean, it's precipitating all the sulfur. So it goes from in solution in the hot water to being particulate sulfur that just grows a chimney around where the hot water is coming out. There's still some hot water, but... Oh, I see the shimmer now, finally. Yeah, at the base there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, there's quite a few shrimp yeah, right yeah. there. Ooh. There's lots in the cracks. Yeah, they were... so, what kind of shrimp do you think they are? So these shrimp belong to a family of shrimp called the Alvina Caridae, named Super after down. the submersible Al Alvin. They're found nowhere else in the world but at chemosynthetic habitats throughout the Western Pacific, the Indian Ocean, and the Atlantic Ocean. These particular shrimp are a species that is found on the many of the volcanoes on this arc. It's almost entirely Rimacaris loihi, but recently um, a Thank you. Yes, that's what second species was found mingled in it and among these shrimp that is a sister species very closely related um, and this is a study uh, that is trying to oh, figure out okay. how this speciation happened because there are like 99 percent one species and then one percent the second species which uh, is a bit of a mystery yeah so this is the deepest we've known the shrimp but they're here because they are very interested in feeding off the uh, bacteria that are growing on the sulfur on this chimney, just swarming around. And as you can carefully look underneath the, the head, the little front claws are trying to pull up the bacterial filaments. They don't attack each other. They're not aggressive shrimp at all. They're just really concerned about trying to get enough nutrition and just constantly feeding all the time. They look very busy.